Welcome, Professor John McGraw. Thank you very much for your Arthur Rook oration lecture. It was excellent. Um, so you spoke about life as a global gene hunter. Can you summarise your talk for me, please? Well, thank you, Fiona. So this was a great honour for me to give the Arthur Rook oration. Uh, many of the more senior dermatologists remember Arthur Rook as a distinguished mm -hmm. clinician who really loved the challenge of trying to work out just what was wrong with the patient. Mm -hmm. And so my lecture was really about thinking about patients with genetic conditions and doing a sort of modern day Arthur Rook analysis of them. Mm -hmm. Thinking about what's going wrong in the skin, seeing what we can do as dermatologists to explore skin pathology with biopsies, seeing what proteins, what structures are abnormal in the skin, and then starting to use our powers of deduction to try and work out what's going on. Of course, in the post-Rook era, we now have modern technologies where we can use next-generation sequencing mm -hmm. to unravel those genetic mysteries. So my Rook oration was really about using new technology and good old-fashioned clinical skills as a dermatologist mm -hmm. to try to discover what's going wrong in patients with genetic skin diseases. But then more importantly, in a true Rook tradition, to use that information to do something now for the patients, not only in terms of giving them a diagnosis, but using the genetic information for the benefit of the patient, better management in, in the clinic, yeah. better anticipation of what might happen in the future, and an overall better experience. So that's what my Arthur Rook oration was about, finding the genes in these mysterious genetic diseases and using that new information to help patients. That's excellent. And if you had to choose one gene that was your most favourite that you discovered, what would it be? It's probably like choosing your favourite child, isn't it really? <laughs> a challenging question. We've worked on a number of genetic skin diseases, but I suppose the first one is always the most memorable. Mm -hmm. So back in the late 90s, we discovered the first genetic disorder of desmosomes. Desmosomes mm -hmm. are cell junctions that hold skin together in the epidermis and other tissues as well. Mm -hmm. But using a careful structure of a patient, applied to a skin biopsy, applied to some genetic tests, mm -hmm. we were able to discover the world's first genetic disorder of desmosomes in this gene called placophyllin-1. And I guess even when I look back on all the gene hunting we've done since then, that gene hunting exercise was still probably the most memorable. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for talking to me today. My pleasure.